Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Dog Tag. This is a game that supports 2-5 to five players, it's for ages 8 and up, and the average playtime is 20 to 40 minutes. So, I have a review out there already uh, by the time this video posts, and you'll find a link for it in the below description. This video is just to serve as a quick overview to go along with that review. Here's a look at the box insert. It's basically cards that you're getting in this game. And as you can see, you've got uh, two different card backs. There's two different types of cards in the game. There are these achievement cards, which players are trying to grab in order to win the game. The first of three will win. You've also got this huge deck of cards, which consists of a number of different things. You've got these picture cards, which basically are trying to collect these in order to turn them in in order to get these achievement cards. If you take a look on the very bottom, you can see the colored cards that you'll need. So in this case, in order to grab this achievement, you'll need two of these blue picture cards and two of these pink picture cards. And whenever you get an achievement and, you, and you're able to collect it, you'll go ahead and observe the effect down here. You get that for the rest of the game. You'll have to take a look at that though and see if it's like a one-time use or if that's just something that you get for the rest of the game. Alright, so there's these picture cards. You've also got these action cards. Action cards actually have two different effects depending on what stage of your turn you're currently in, and I'll get to that in a minute. You've also got these comment cards. Comment cards are added to picture cards, and whenever there are a total of five comments on a single card, it has been considered to go viral, and that player gets to draw two extra cards from the deck to add to their hand. All right, so let's go ahead and show you real quick what this game's all about and, you know, how a typical turn might play out. The game starts with uh, five of these achievement cards being laid out in a two-player game. Rules are slightly different for a three- or five-player game, but in a two-player game, that's what I'm going to show you. In a two-player game, five of these achievement cards are drawn from this deck here, and again, it's just random shuffle. After that, uh, each player is going to get a hand of five cards, and uh, throughout the game, as these are taken, uh, you do not replace them from the deck. That's it. However, in a three to five player game, you will be actually drawing six of these, and we'll be replacing cards as you go. All right, so on a typical turn, uh, there's going to be two parts to that. The first part is going to be simply drawing the card from the top of the deck and playing it face up for all to see. If it is a picture card, you add it to your personal picture area. A player can have a total of five pictures in their area. Okay, So that's one thing that could happen. I also, I also drew out some of these other cards um, just to show you what would happen in the event that this picture card did not come up. Let's say that uh, this comment card came up. If this comment card comes up at this point in time, you're going to assign it to another player's picture area, and to one of their other pictures, okay? If you happen to draw one of these action cards, you're going to go ahead and observe the open face phase. In this case, in this flag, choose a player to discard any comment from your picture board, or under share, choose player to take a picture from your board and place it onto their own. So basically, during the open face phase, for the most part, na action cards will do nasty things to you. Whereas you're going to try and hope that whatever you draw is a picture so you can add it to your uh, personal area. That's the only thing that I don't like about this game. It, it, you can get very unlucky in this game. Because let's say that, you know, let's say that I'm playing the game and I continuously draw these action cards or these comment cards. Meaning that I either have to observe some sort of nasty effect from these action cards here, or I have to assign comment cards to other people. Whereas, let's say my opponent keeps drawing picture cards and they're able to add it to their own personal play area. That's So, if, if you're very unlucky, you know, that can happen. But, uh, again, this is more of a casual game, so it's up to you on how, how much that's going to bother you. But anyway, so those are the main types of cards here. And again, during the first phase of your turn, draw the top card, flip it over, depending on what it is you're going to observe its effect, and then put it into the discard pile. Let's just say that I had uh, drawn this blue one, for example. I'm going to put it into my personal play area. And now I'm going to draw up to two cards to add to my hand. One, two. And now I can 
take three actions. Actions involve playing cards or turning in cards in order to grab these. So let's say I wanted to do something like this. Let's say I wanted to play this green card here and add it to my photo pile here. Uh, that would be one action. I could play an action card here and this I would observe the posting phase. Take a picture from a player's board and place it onto your own. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the discard pile and let's say that I took this from my opponent. That's uh, three pictures out of five that I've got there. And let's say that I already had another green picture in here from a previous turn. For my third action, I could go ahead and uh, turn these photos in, put them into the discard pile in order to take this one because I, I require three green cards in order to take this achievement and then I could observe this effect. Uh, before drawing any card in your turn, you may swap a food picture from your board for any picture from the discard pile. Again, some of these are ongoing effects. Some of these, like say the tail chaser here, and that's not it. Uh, effect, it only takes four comments for your picture to go viral. So yeah, there's different things. Some take effect now, some take effect throughout the game. Um, here's one that was one time. Each player gives you one picture from their board. So yeah, some are one time, some are throughout the game, so you're going to want to make note of that. And then after you've taken your three actions, you're going to go ahead and just end your turn. And then the next player goes. They start the turn by drawing one card, observing the effect, and then putting that into the discard pile. They get to take three actions, and so on. And then the first player to take three of these achievement cards will win the game. That is the gist of it. Again, this was just a quick overview to give you an idea of what the game was like. Um, the game is available right now for $25 through the official website. So if you like what you see here, I'll put a link in the below description. You can try it uh, and uh, buy it yourself. All right, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.